glimmer of light in a dark and dreary economy. For Bernalillo County, it comes in the form of the county's very own version of eBay, a new way to sell off government vehicles, furniture, and even carpet. And so far, it's paying off. News 13's Amanda Goodman is live in the Newsplex with more on that. Amanda? Well, Tim, in just two weeks, the county has already seen a huge interest. And at this pace, say they'll most likely double their revenue for surplus goods over the last year. Very interesting. Once I found a vehicle that I kind of was interested in, I put a bid in it and just kind of watched it all week. And lo and behold, I was a high bidder. And Chris Egan has come to collect his prize. You see, he bid on this old work truck on Bernalillo County's new auction website. They did a good job of describing the vehicle. You know, I, it is what is, I expected when I got here. There's no really any surprises. So. I'm pretty pleased with the whole transition. The county opened up the online bidding for excess property two weeks ago. It tells us the time left, the current price, the number of bids that are out there. It's called public surplus, and it's quite similar to Craigslist or eBay, except the items put up for auction come from the county. Things like chairs, vehicles, and printers the county no longer has a need for. I think I got a good deal. But buying surplus items from the county hasn't always been this easy. We'd have to uh, manifest the equipment, load it up in a trailer, um, tag it, mark it, get it to Bentley's auction, and it would sell that way. Not only was that time consuming, but county asset manager Martin Gallego says it just wasn't cost effective. The county was being charged 25% commission and would often get bottom of the barrel bids. Today we're we're making um, much more money than we would do at a traditional auction. Gallego says last year they made about $100,000 at auction. This year, they're on pace to double that. And so far, the site is receiving rave reviews. It was a lot of fun. I had a good time. I won a car. Or I won the bid on the car. And we'll see what happens from here. I think I'll do it again. And Gallego says the new site will not only save time and money, but it will also generate more revenue for the county. And all that money goes into the general fund. Tim? All right, thank you, Amanda. In addition to the public site, all county departments also have the ability to bid on an item. The winner is chosen on a first-come, first-served basis.